Hey guys, how are ya? So NVIDIA has released their paper and a well, little video example on the page of their new AI tool eDefy. So I thought we we're gonna have a look at that and see what they've been working on. They have some cool stuff going on. Some of it is not really ready yet, but um, the concepts they have when they can be implemented or merged with Stable Fusion or Mid Journey or whatever, we're gonna have some new cool uses for professional use. Well, more control for every user actually. So let's uh, dive into that and see um, see what's going on. Hey 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 hey. So it says here, uh, too long didn't read. Edify is a new generation of generative AI content creation tool that offers unprecedented text to image synthesis with instant style transfer and intuitive painting with words capabilities. And this is kind of interesting. The intuitive painting with words capabilities. We're gonna see an example of that soon but here are a couple of examples are already highly detailed digital painting of a portal in mystic forest with many beautiful trees a person is standing in front of the portal now this is going to be consistent with the whole thing they can be very specific with what they're asking in the prompt and that's something that mid journey and stable diffusion dolly etc is not doing great currently and here's another example where a cat is dressed as a witch wearing a wizard hat in a haunted house. Well, it's actually sort of inside a house, but also the house is here. So it's a mix of the things. Here's a photo of a duckling wearing a medieval soldier helmet and riding a skateboard. This is sorting that pretty well. Oh, and by the way, I got something for you. What do you call an exploding duck? A firequacker. So here's the example of painting with words capabilities. They have the prompt here, which is a digital painting of a half-frozen lake near mountains under a full moon and aurora. A boat is in the middle of the lake, highly detailed. In regular text-to-image, you would have no control where the things are. I mean, you could roughly paint it out in image-to-image. -image. It would still be hard to get exactly what you want. Here you can actually specify that here's the moon, here's the aurora, the mountains, uh, boat, etc. You mean you can see it in image. And this is super cool, and this is going to change a lot of things for professional use. I mean, just playing around and creating a amazing AI art is cool, and but when it comes to using this professionally, you need to have more control of what's going on, and this is going to be a game changer for that. They have a video here, so let's check it out, see what it says. It's 2 minutes, 2 and 20. So this is the example of the we saw earlier. Two new capabilities. Paint with words. Yeah, that's what we uh, talked about. So this is some sort of live painting and they're gonna add the words in. Or actually the the color of the words in the prompt to get what they want. Very cool. Instant style guided text to image generation. Okay, yeah, so you can use a reference image to influence the style. So it's basically like training um, the style in Dreambooth, but it's more of a one image, one, st one style, one image kind of thing. A photo of a golden retriever puppy wearing a green shirt. The shirt has text that says NVIDIA rocks, background office, 4K DSLR. Uh, well, this one does. It's not great, but um, I think this one uh, has some sort of Russian vibe in it. Nidska vida, uh, which could be, if my Russian is correct, that's something similar in, in Russian. If it's not, give me your best translations in the comments. And stuff like this has been almost impossible to get right in in any of the AI tools as of now, especially getting any text proper. It's everything is like this, like nonsense gibberish, gibberish, gibberish text. But uh, being able to get actual words in is kind of cool, even though this one doesn't actually follow the shirt. Yeah, okay, so this is very cool. So there are two Chinese teapots on the table. One pot has a painting of a dragon. 
while the other pot has a painting of a panda. I mean, give that prompt to Stable Diffusion or Mid Journey, and it's gonna, they're, they're not gonna sort that. It's so specific. And this is really cool. This is one of the other sort of game changers with this. So it's actually trying to paint the dragon on one and the panda on the other. And I mean, here's a panda, here's a, I don't know, maybe not dragon, dragonish, but at least it's trying and almost figuring it out. So, I mean, I'm, I'm loving this. Super cool. Hey, while we're on the subject, what does a panda ghost eat? Bamboo. I'm hilarious. Photo of a dog wearing a blue shirt and a cat wearing a red shirt sitting in a park. Yeah, that's nice. So here's some more techy stuff that you can delve into. There's a paper, I'm gonna link everything. There's a paper uh, that you can read as well to go into the full details. I'm gonna leave that out for now to um, stick with the good parts to not make this uh, super dry video. So that paper would be up here. That's the paper here. You can read that if you want to go into detail. As I've understood it, they make a 64 by 64 resolution original and then they super sample it to get bigger. Denoising. Yeah, again, just delve into the paper if you want to go deep into this stuff. A photo of two cute teddy bears sitting on top of a grizzly bear. Again, very specific. Very specific. And, you know, these two images sort it. This doesn't. But, I mean, obviously they, they can't cherry pick every image. Best of bread. It's like, um, it feels like they're trying to sell me something. Come in and get some bread. And it's it's almost like a scam, you know? So yeah, stay away from those two. These two though, best friends. Photo of a plate at a restaurant table with spaghetti and red sauce. There's sushi on top of the spaghetti. What is this? How to piss off the whole of Italy and Japan at the same time. The thing is, it's not even saying, I mean, here's it's saying a close-up photo of a cat riding a scooter, and then it, it's saying it is wearing a plain shirt. It's not a, even saying the cat is wearing a plain shirt or something like that. They've built it so that it can understand that, you know, you specified an it, which is the cat, and subject, and then you can call on the subject here, it is wearing a plain shirt and has a banana around its neck. It's very cool. I mean, when you can get this into stable diffusion, sort of merge that together, yeah. We're looking at some cool stuff coming up. Yeah, this was the style transfer we saw in the video. So you have a, an input reference, like an input image and a prompt. Well, basically it's this input image and this would be the image without the input. So it's kind of merging the two together. A dog playing a trumpet. I mean, who comes up with these things? It's like, yeah, we, we, we need to make some reference images for this thing. W what should we do? I don't know, people like animals. Put some animals in there. We can't have just animals. Well, put a trumpet in the mouth. Yeah, so this is sort of a Vincent van Gogh thing. Actually really cool, I like it. It's a modern take on it. Paint with words. Yeah, I think this... Sh I think these are just... Are these just clips from the full video? Oh, it wasn't. It was another one. But still, you get the point. Let's look at this one. Oh, this was the Halloween. We saw that one. Uh, which was this? Da, da, da. Oh, that's the Aurora. Let's try something further down. Five seconds here. Let's go on this one. No, oh, we saw that one as well. Okay, well. Ah, oh, here we go. A red Ferrari car. Oh, a rainbow. Nice. Yes, you see the power of that. Benefit of using denoising experts. So let's see what's happening here. A 4K DSLR photo of two teddy bears wearing a sports jersey with the text E. Diffie right, written on it. They are on a soccer field. E. Diffie? D. Diffie. E. Diffie. 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 I mean, it's, it's close. It's very close. I mean, you need to run a couple of batches to get it, get it right. And as, like, the baseline here is closer than <laughs> stable diffusion would be and when you're working with edfi here you actually you know both are sort of correct i mean this is a little junky here but i approve and again with the animals someone in a meeting said what's up with the animals steve steve replied well everyone likes animals 
what what do you mean do you hate animals and the guy just no i don't hate animals just okay put in all the animals you want style variations but this seems to be based on the prompt so it's basically this is the prompt and then just add like the prompt of a real photo rembrandt whatever so that's um yeah that's already in all the other tools basically so yeah that was nvidia's new e diffy e edify e e e e i have no idea um it if i edify tell me how it's pronounced in the comments i have no clue so yeah this was part of my uh, ai talk series where i just uh, look at stuff on the internet it's not really a tutorial but uh, i mean we need to mix it up as well i hope you um learned something did you well maybe we didn't today but at least we got to see something new something cool and something that uh well you might be using in a while so yeah have a good one see ya